Hello everyone, this is Cavalier Calm. This poem is called Deep, Drunk, Soul Branding Memories. I think I love you most when I'm drunk. I know that sounds bad. Let me explain. I think we all live for memories. The hope for new experiences lifts us from bed each day. But what would be the point if we couldn't keep some piece of them? Forever locked in our head are mementos of what we've done, and we greedily collect trinkets for our mind's glass menagerie. This is why I'm more afraid of losing my mind than losing my life. Why live if life's every action is forgotten? Life is only valued through reflection. Well, not only. It is valued in real time, too. Our animal senses sometimes process the world into instant gratification. And our animal self needs nothing more than this. In fact, I may not even remember tonight tomorrow, but I'm enjoying tonight just fine. We are well into our second bottle of wine, and you just told me a joke I've already forgotten, but we are still laughing. I like this laughter because it's good in and of itself. I don't need to remember it tomorrow to be able to put it in my display case because I understand right now that this is special. Plus, on some level, we'll remember, right? Carnal pleasures work their way deep inside of us. That's why elephants remember the thousand mile path to water, or why I feel excited to drink whiskey, even though the only part of drinking whiskey I ever distinctly remember is the hangover. Something good is happening in these moments, and our body remembers even if our brain fails to. Experiences like this must brand our soul instead of our mind. The details are a fog, but there's something like a memory there, a warm glow of raw joy. I like making these deep, drunk, soul-branding memories with you, because while brain memories give my life a story arc, I accidentally compare all the trinkets in my menagerie. The ones I earned with you are weighed against the ones I earned with other girls and the ones I earned alone. There's value in analogies and metaphors and knowing if our love trumps other loves I've felt. But sometimes it's nice to get out of my head, to avoid the poison of judgment that sometimes spoils what we've shared, and just love you like I love whiskey or a perfect bite of food, or the sound of a chord. Because it's good right now, and that is enough. Being drunk just means overwhelming the senses with something, perhaps until the mind can't function, until the only thing functioning is those overwhelmed senses. Now I see. I don't love you most when I'm drunk. I love you most when I'm drunk on you.